Let's finish this episode with another very interesting study in which researchers tried to maximize the efficacy of the foot in the door technique by combining it with another effective influence technique, which is the so-called but you are free technique. We already talked about this technique in the episode about reactants and it's a quite simple technique. When you ask somebody for a favor, um, like for example, would you participate in a short survey? You just add the words, but you are free to accept or to refuse. And the idea behind this technique is that whenever anybody wants us to do something, we feel that our freedom gets threatened. And this phrase seems to make us feel like, well, no, I still have the freedom to decide whatever I want. And indeed, there have been some studies in which could be shown that the phrase was effective. So let's take a look what happens if, it, if it's combined with the foot in the door technique. And this was investigated in the study by Giga and colleagues published in 2010 in the journal of Ecopsychology. And the study was named the combined effect of the foot in the door technique and the but you are free technique, an evaluation on the selective sorting of household wastes. As you can hear from the title, the request in this study was about selective sorting of household wastes. So a student who wanted to carry out a study on recycling rang on the front door of 200 homeowners and asked the participants to fill out a sorting book in which they should keep records of all the waste they would throw away. So ask yourself, would you do that for one month? I would probably say, sorry, I got no time for something like that. And in fact, in the control condition in which no foot in the door technique and no but you are free technique was used, only 40% said, yeah, okay, let's do that. But a lot of those who said yes did not really do it because after one month, only about 8% had completed the survey. The results for the other experimental conditions were different. In the foot in the door condition, in which again the participants were asked a small request in the first place, they were just asked if they would answer four short questions. In this condition, 60% of the participants said, okay, I will fill out your sorting book. Almost the same results occurred for the but you are free condition in which the question whether they would fill out the sorting book was just completed by the phrase, but you are free to accept or to refuse. Extremely effective was the combination of both persuasion techniques. Almost 80% of the participants that were twice as much as in the control condition were indeed willing to fill out the sorting book. And they did not only say so, but they actually did so much more often than in the control condition. So a combination of the foot in the door technique and the but you are free technique might be even more successful than a single foot in the door technique. And the best way to protect yourself from falling for these influence techniques is to become aware of them. If you know what's going on, you can keep on making rational decisions. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you want, we will see you in the next episode, but you are free to accept or to refuse.